Greetings HP touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle with a video here explaining how to uh, tweak the uh, tablet bar at the bottom of your CyanogenMod Android on your HP touchpad. Several of you have asked uh, how I got my bar to be a different color or how to have different icons and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now you may be asking yourself why am I on XDA developers looking at the Nook themes and apps forum? Well I'll tell you why. One of the things you'll notice about the Nook and what CyanogenMod has done for it is that this was really the main reason uh, why the tablet tweak I think was, was implemented in the first place and obviously that same tweak uh, exists on our device as well and, and trust me it's a godsend and the Nook has had this tablet tweak for a, 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 quite a bit longer than we have so people have taken it upon themselves to create uh, themes and uh, tweaks uh, for this particular uh, type of device with this particular type of bar. So as I scroll down here you'll notice that there are several themes and they say tablet tweaked for CM7, CyanogenMod uh, 7. This is what we want to look for. Now here's two, uh, the honey bread and the ice cream sandwich and I have downloaded both of these. Uh, I'm gonna go into one here to give you a uh, uh, a quick look at what you'll be getting here. So as you scroll down, you'll notice that the, the bar itself looks very different from the stock bar that you're used to seeing. And uh, it doesn't just change the bar, it does change some of the other items as well. And uh, at the very bottom of all, you'll notice the keyboard is a bit different. Uh, on the bottom it has a link uh, to download it. And what you're going to get is an APK file. That APK file will have to be installed on your device and then I'll show you how to use theme chooser to uh, pick that and implement it on your device. I also downloaded the ice cream sandwich uh, theme and I, I very much like this one. Um, scroll down a bit and show you very very blocky very uh, uh, ice cream sandwich e. Uh, you'll notice very high contrast buttons and uh, it's very unique and, and this one I, I particularly like. I also like the bigger clock uh, and uh, and whatnot. So I have downloaded this one. Uh, I haven't played with the keyboard yet at all but I do like the uh, Google search bar and uh, very very modern looking. So I've downloaded this as well. Uh, I did get the uh, the uh, standard version uh, 2.2. Again this is an APK file uh, and you'll install it just like uh, any other APK that you've downloaded. So now that you see where I'm getting it from this forum, uh, you can go in and check and see if there are any other uh, themes that suit your pleasing. And uh, honestly, uh, you know, I've tried these two. I've looked for that tablet tweaked. Uh, I haven't dug much more into it, but uh, there's a transformer bread one. Also, I haven't looked at, but uh, I, I do recommend going in here. A lot of the stuff for the Nook will work for our device, uh, especially with themes and, and tweaks and whatnot. So let's switch over to the device, and uh, I'll show you what I've got here. Okay, there's a few things we need to do here first uh, before we start tweaking. Uh, I believe, I, I'm fairly confident that I have it back to stock at this point. Uh, there's a few things that we do need to tweak here. Uh, tweak number one is uh, we need to go in to our settings and go to applications and make sure that we have unknown sources checked. Now I believe by default it is unchecked. So you'll want to check that and that will allow you to install APKs that are not from the market. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. Okay, so that's been checked. Now we're going to go in. I'm using ES File Explorer. Uh, you can use whatever Explorer uh, you see fit. And here we have the uh, two themes. These are the two APK files that I've downloaded. And so I'll install each one of them by clicking on it or tapping it, um, the tweaked theme, and install it. And again, this won't work if you don't go into the settings and uh, allow uh, like we did. So that one's installed, and I'm also going to install the ice cream sandwich. 
Okay, so that one is done as well. So now that they're installed, what do we do? Uh, it's not as easy as just going in and selecting it because if you notice, uh, it actually doesn't show up as an installed application. That's where Theme Chooser comes into play. Now I have Theme Chooser on my uh, desktop here, so I'm going to choose that. Now in here, you'll notice that the are there are current... Um, templates, uh, themes already in here, and that's all well and good, but um, we're looking for something a little bit more uh, enhanced. And so, uh, let's see here. Here's the honey bread. I have that one here, and I'm going to apply it. Now, watch my bar down at the bottom once I apply this. Uh, if you do get this error where this theme is missing assets for your screen's device, ignore that. Uh, that, uh, that just means that it's looking for a different resolution than what we have. It uh, doesn't seem to... Um, have any effect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And lo and behold, I now have a very, very honeycomb looking launcher. Uh, this is what a lot of people have been looking for. And uh, hopefully, uh, this answers some questions. Now, some of you have also asked me how I got rid of uh, some of the uh, searchings and whatnot. We'll go into settings and go into cyanogen mod settings and there is tablet tweaks. Tablet tweaks allows you to go in and change some things. Now a, a colleague of mine who recently obtained a uh, HP touchpad and has recently used my videos to install um, Android on it has uh, taken it upon himself to move his uh, bar to the top as opposed to having it on the bottom. That's great. Uh, he's more comfortable holding it uh, like a phone, and uh, I'm more comfortable with holding it like a tablet. And so uh, you have that option of changing that back and forth. Um, the soft buttons uh, on the left, you know, th th that's something you can play with. But choose the soft buttons. And by soft buttons, they mean these down here. Putting them over here as opposed to this side, that's what they're talking about, soft buttons on the left. So you'll notice that I've turned off the search and the quick notifications. Those are two unnecessary buttons in my opinion. So if I turn those off, they'll disappear from here. If I turn it back on and I'll just turn search back on, there it is. Search comes back. And I turn it back off and off it goes. Okay, so now that we've understood that, uh, there's also lock screens and whatnot. If you decide to turn your lock screen on, you have to go through and turn on several different things in here as well as in the other system settings. Uh, I personally don't see a value in the lock screen. Other people do. Okay, so now that we understand what the tablet tweaks are, let's go in and try one more uh, tweak. And this is the one that I, actually before we do, notice that my, and, and you may want to go back and look, uh, earlier in the video, notice that my Google search has turned into something uh, very honeycomb looking. It's got the blue outline. Let me change my uh, wallpaper here to show you something a little bit more, uh, a little bit darker. Let's see here. We'll go with this. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can see the blue outline around it now. Um, the tweaks themselves uh, give you more than just um, more than just uh, the 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 uh, tablet bar. It also gives you a different keyboard and whatnot. This keyboard has uh, a slight blue hue to it. Um, I, I don't have Swift Key X installed yet, but um, th this is something that you can also tweak with a, a different keyboard. All right, so let's go back into Theme Chooser, and I have other themes here. You can go in and experiment with different ones as well. Um, the uh, Honeycomb 3D SB is one that I downloaded off of the uh, market. Um, uh, very similar to what we have here, so I, I find it to be slightly redundant. So this is the ice cream sandwich, and I'm going to apply that one. And uh, again, there's that erroneous error message. Apply anyway. Watch my bar. Switch over. Very much ice cream sandwich. And uh, again, the uh, search bar, the search box is... Uh, a little different and I'll switch my wallpaper one more time to give a little bit clearer demonstration of that bar let's get something a little uh, little brighter here 
Well, that should be bright enough for you to see. Okay, so very distinct, very uh, black, uh, rigid. Um, I think that that's what ice cream sandwich is is, is going for is, is a lot of uh, straight lines, not a lot of curvature, and not a lot of um, uh, very simple and, and, and plain, and I like that. Uh, you'll notice that other things occur when you go in and change your themes is that you'll notice other little boxes and whatnot uh, looking slightly different. Let's take a look at the keyboard for Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, this uh, looks very stock, actually. So there we have it. Now, uh, in terms of other tweaks, uh, they come from uh, different widgets and different uh, different launchers and all that. And if you haven't watched those videos of mine, I highly recommend doing that so you can see the different flavors that uh, that you can get with this. So this was requested. Several people have asked, well, how did you get your bar to look like that? Now you know. And uh, knowing is, well, come on, half the battle. All right, so this has been Reverend Kyle with uh, another video tutorial on how to uh, tweak your HP touchpad.